So, what I'm saying, Eidl Yitzar, I would do a, a, a call now with Shulchan. I had the accessibility. And I came back to and I said, 90% of them say he does not need, he wants or he chose to need. Would you be surprised by that, that stat or would you say? I've gotten over the surprise. But when people say he chose to need, that's correct. What does that change? Yeah, chose to need. What's correct about it? Huh? What is correct about that? He did choose to need. M meaning that he could have not chosen? No. <laughs> Generally, when you say need, you're talking about uh, you're talking about an external, additional pursuit that is separate from the person who is the Baal Harotzen. Um, because we assume that every Rotson is imposed. If I was happy and if I was content with myself, I wouldn't need anything. So if I need, then somebody's bugging me, something's bothering me, something is disturbing me, otherwise why would I need? Foolish. So not needing seems to be more, more like etzim. And needing sounds like somebody else is, is interfering with you. But what would a rotsan atzmi be? What is a rotsan that doesn't come from outside? Just, that's you. So it's debatable whether you really should call it rotsan at all. Rotson is like a netia in the nefesh. Okay, we call it Rotson. Merutza. Not forced. So when we say Rotson, we just mean voluntary. Not optional. There's a difference. Voluntary means from within, volitional, not forced. But not forced doesn't mean optional. I mean, you don't force me to be me, but I got to be me. So I am me by choice, so to speak. But not that I have an option to be somebody else. Now with me, this whole thing is not true because I am not me by choice. The Ebersh that created me this way, so I'm this way. So, so it is imposed on me. There is no real me that is voluntary. But by the Ebersh, since he wasn't created, the real him is not coming from outside, not imposed, so it is willing, or whatever that word is, I can find. So when you say he chose to need, it doesn't, it doesn't imply option. He could have chosen not to. All it means is that his need was not coming from outside, nothing forces him, nothing compels him, it's him, which makes it even more of a need, not less makes it more atzmizdik. So like kids ask, you mean if I don't do the mitzvah, he's going to die? <laughs> he's going to die? No, he's not going to die. Oh, so he doesn't need it. That's so childish. If he needed the mitzvah for some purpose or some shlemus, then he doesn't really need the mitzvah. It's just a means to an end. What we're saying is that the mitzvah is him. So precisely because he won't die if you don't do it, and yet he wants you to do it, that means that it's a rotzen atzmi. Now the question is, and this is the big debate in Chassidus and my mother, is rotzen atzmi a rotzen or it's not a rotzen? It's a good conversation. Discuss it endlessly. The 
Sava HaKadosh Baruch Hu Lies Lai Dira B'Tachtayna. Was it a Taira? Well, can you say Debesh had a Taira? No. But it says a Debesh had a Taira. So what are you going to do with that? <laughs> so you say Kiviyochul and you go home. <laughs> what? That fixed nothing. Debesh had a Taira or not? That's how much that makes sense. The Ebrishta had a taiva, and that's our model. Because without that taiva, there'd be nothing. So it's a real taiva. No, it's not a taiva. All right, so what word do you want to use? So was there a rotsen? Does he really want the mitzvah? Uh, you call it whatever you want. But mitzvahs didn't come out of a book. It came out of him. <laughs> 